now we'll be doing the uh, trust problem using RISA 2D. This is the problem number two. Okay, so this is the trust that we have been given. First, we need to go to RISA and then see the units. So this length is in meters and uh, forces is in kilonewtons. That should be good. And hit OK. And then we need to change the, uh, the grid here. So the grid will be uh, along the X axis. Uh, we will have how many? One, two, three, four, and five. So four spans will be at three meters. Okay. Four at three meters and one at six meters. Okay. So one, two, three, and four and five okay five. fifth uh, span will be at six meters along the y we will have so this is 7.5 based on the similar triangles you will get that this height will be five meters and half of that will be this uh, member length which is 2.5 and half of that will be 1.25 so we will have one two right so two uh, spans at 1.25 and another two, okay, two at 2.5. So that will give me my y axis, okay? So if you hit OK, we will have this type of grid. So now we need to make sure that these members are drawn. So go to the draw new member. And then we will use the same default values because we are interested in member forces and the reactions. We will uh, use pin in both ends because as we discussed in the class, uh, the trust members cannot take any moments at these joints and the loads, is, loads are applied on the joint itself. So we will use pinned uh, ends here and then we will start from A. This is A. This is B, this is C, right? And then this will be D, and this will be E, okay? And then uh, let's do from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here, and go from there. So from here to here, we'll go from here to here. And then from here to here, here to here, and then here to here, go all the way from here to here. Okay, so uh, I think uh, we don't have any nodes here, so that, uh, let's try to delete that member. So delete, uh, delete individually, okay? So we need to delete the selected member. So we will delete these two, right? And then uh, the node as well. And then we will use this complete length. Okay, so now our geometry is uh, applied, okay? And also this one has to be one member as well. So I need to delete that. Okay, and then add a member from here to here. Now we need to assign the joint loads. So this is 1.2, right? So over here, this is the place where you should be going. Apply joint loads. So these loads will be applied on the Y direction. The magnitude will be minus 1.2. I'll keep the dialog box open. This is applied here, load of joints. That should be negative 2.4. Y, negative 2.4 here, negative 2.4 here, and then negative 1.2 here. Okay, that should assign this joint load. At point A, we have a, a pin support. Okay, so apply a pin support here. And at H, we have roller support is a roller support and then everything is done so you just hide the the grid there 
and then uh, we can solve it, you'll see that these are the joint reactions. So if we go to our solution, okay, so let's go to the uh, problem number two. So AY and HY, it's 3.6 kilonewtons each. Okay, so that is these two reactions. And uh, if you go to the member forces here in the results, if you go member forces, you will see that each member will have different values. So there is no shear, no moment, because these are truss members, only axial uh, loads, either compression or uh, tension. So if you go to this, let's say FAC, FAC in our diagram, okay, FAC, uh, this one. So in this member, this is a zero force member, so as this one. So let's see if these are zero, BF and CF are the zero. So BF and CF is this member and this member. Let's uh, turn on the member uh, labels. Okay, so and then we will go to the member force. So BF and CF here is M11 and M12. M11 and M12 they are zero so essentially that means this is a zero force members uh, this is a, a zero force member and this is a zero force member and then the question is asking the member cg so cg corresponds to m13 m13 is 2.499 so in our solution uh, cg is 2.5 so essentially that's the same number. So in, in, this is in compression. So here a compression is given by a positive value. So this is the opposite that Visa is uh, taking care of. So this is under compression, which is 2.5 kilonewtons. All right, and then if we go back to the question GD, GD is basically this member, which is the M14. M14 is negative 1.866. So if we go to our solution, 1.87. Uh, so in, in, in our uh, answer key, we have 1.87. So in the uh, VSA, we have 1.866, so which is the same, the same number. But the, the signs are different. But anyway, this is. This uh, negative cons uh, considers as tension, positive considers as the uh, uh, compression. So this is how you take care of the uh, truss problems. Make sure that when you draw, you need to make sure that these joints are uh, pin connected because they cannot be as a fixed connected uh, truss. So therefore, we make sure that you have uh, pin connectors at the uh, uh, at the either side of your member. And uh, that's it. And that's how you use Risa for uh, trust members. And if you can, uh, if you have other geometries and loads uh, you want to play around with, and then uh, you can just go ahead with this program.